So the study reality one is a retrospective and prospective collection of data about the early access to the trastuzumab deruxtecan program for O2 positive breast cancer patient. So that was a collection of this data on this patient treated in real life uh, with this access. So it was interesting to see how the result for the patient, the clinical benefit and the side effect were or not different from what was already published and specifically from the Destiny 01 and also the Destiny 02, but specifically more the Destiny 01, which was a phase two uh, study, uh, were clearly the same or were different. And so the main results were that the, the results were quite similar. Of course, the patients were not selected as for prospective clinical trial. So for the evaluation of uh, objective response, of course, you don't have exactly the same criteria, but we observe a 50% objective response, but also like in the Destiny 01, only 3% of progressive disease have the first evaluation. 40, 14% of the patients were not evaluable in terms of response, but it was something quite important. And also for progression-free survival, the median was uh, 17.5 months. And in Destiny 01, so in this prospective uh, study, the median progression-free survival was 19 months. So quite similar. And for overall survival, it was not yet mature, but at least it was above 24 months, so above two, two years. So maybe could be similar that was observed in Destiny 01. For side effects, uh, we observe something also quite similar with exactly the same hematologic asthenia side effect and also no specific signal for a cardiac event also. The main concern of course with this drug is uh, uh, pneumonia, uh, pneumon interstitial diffuse pneumonia, PID, and we observe also this type of side effect in 14% of the patient. And unfortunately, like in the other study, would say that 1% of the patient died of this side effect. So that was three cases that with a uh, 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 grade five uh, PID uh, in this guy. But it was quite similar. Another point that we think is important and interesting in this study is that the proportion of patients with uh, uh, neurological and uh, central nervous system metastasis was quite high, nearly one quarter of the patient. And we observe also the same rate of objective response in this population. So that's also something we saw was interesting to see in real life for the patient.